Welcome back again to the channel guys. Today we have here a Mercedes E-Class uh, 2005. So um, a very common problem these days with these cars is the floating needle speedometer. It looks like it's floating and sometimes it gets, it gets uh, jammed uh, at zero kilometers an hour or miles an hour, sometimes at a random speed. So today we are going to check what the problem with this car is. So first off you have to remove the molding around the cluster, then you have four T20 uh, Torx screws to remove and uh, plug. This plug you just have to, um, you just have a little lever you have to um, press this little tab up, up top here and then just move the lever up front while pushing or pulling the, uh, the plug. So here we are in the workbench with the uh, cluster itself. Uh, you have five or six uh, little plastic tabs you have to pry open. There's no screws or anything involved here. You just have to pry them open gently because uh, this is a 20 year old car so um, be gentle with that so you won't break it. Next you have to pull this, uh, this button or a rocker switch um, from the... Uh, it just pull directly off. It uh, comes right off. And as you can see here, and then just uh, take the two halves and remove the glass part. And uh, now we are, we are going to inspect the, the floating needle. It's a really big um, tooth wheel or sprocket wheel that goes around the, um, the odometer. And uh, it has to be really smooth and uh, firm. Uh, it cannot be loose, otherwise it will it would be jumping around um, when you uh, when you drive to a rough road or a pothole or something. So it has to be smooth but firm as well. So as uh, this is usually uh, the problem with these cars, uh, this, this part wears out, so I have another one uh, that I'm going to fit to the cluster and test for smoothness and um, we'll go from there. This one uh, works really smoothly, really well. So um, I'm going to show you how to remove this, uh, this wheel. You don't have to worry about the zero or the, the top speed because um, there is a, a stop at, at each end and the car will, um, as soon as you cycle the ignition, it will um, make its own limits. So as you can see, you just have a little tab that to on the on the the point the, the pointer there on the needle to transfer light, and then you just align everything. And there is a little uh, like a tensioner on, up top. You just need to lift it with your finger, and uh, it has a spring mechanism to hold everything in place. As you can see, it really is smooth, no binding, no whatsoever. Um, just adjusting the uh, tensioner here and um, yeah so again guys we can now go to um, test it in a car as soon as we switch the ignition the, the, the needle should uh, move just a little bit and when we switch it off 
uh, it will go back to the stop point so uh, it will self adjust as you can see here I'm starting the, the ignition you saw it moving smoothly and as soon as I turn off the ignition it comes back to the stop so it uh, auto adjusts okay guys so now it's time to reassemble everything back together and put it back to the car again this is really straightforward so um, yeah guys if you like this type of videos this type of content please don't forget to subscribe uh, hit that like button as well uh, hope this video helps uh, someone and uh, I hope to see you the next video